Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and today it's a good day. We got back some of those VHS tapes that we sent off to be graded. I've got a box back. Let's check them out. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. And here it is, the first one back. I actually, out of town yesterday, missed when they tried to drop it off. So glad that I was around today. This one is, uh, I believe, yep, IGS. So this one is the Star Wars that we sent off. These were sealed in a uh, box set. So they were uncirculated inside, hopefully, and very good good condition. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd love to see nines, 9.5s. I mean, I, I anticipate at least an 8.5 out of these. I'm hoping. Let's pop it open and see. All right. Here we go, guys. The gamble now. Remember, we paid quite a lot to get these graded, though we bought the set itself. For 50 cents so we're not losing much there okay let me take these out they're individually boxed it looks like so let's pull these out real quick all right before we open these up i do want to point out i'd have to look back at the calendar to get exact dates and that sort of thing but i anticipated these coming back in october so igs knocking this stuff out really quickly so uh kudos to them for that let's do this let's move we got our mat set up here. We're going to do a whatnot auction, and I have the mat just sitting there. All right, so they're in individual boxes and then individual bags. It's a little nerve-wracking, right? It's like the scratch-off ticket, except these scratch-off tickets I paid a couple hundred dollars for. All right. First one coming out is Return of the Jedi. It's got a Fern Gully sticker right there and we got a nine 9.5 so they grade the case and the seal now the seal should be very good on all of them because it's been inside right so we've got a uh, a nine mint on the box on the case you can see right here this is the 1990 cbs fox star wars return of the jedi it's uncirculated meaning it was inside the box, so this never sat on a shelf. Back blue fox with the seal. Okay, and then the seal itself, a 9.5. We'll take these out of the bag here and look at them as a set, but a 9 and a 9.5, that's awesome. I'll show you the back. So there's the, it's got the blue seal on the bottom. And it's got the watermark as well. So that's fantastic, guys. That's what we were hoping for. Let's pull out the next. Let's see if this is it. I don't know. What do you think? Empire? Yeah. Empire. How about that? I got it right. Again, the $5 Fern Gully. And nine, guys, we got a 10 on the seal, an epic on the seal. You don't get 10 on things, guys. This, the value is going to go crazy. A 9.5, 10, 9.5 gem, and 9 point, or a 9, ah, I can't even talk. 9.5 gem on the box and a 10 on the seal. That's why we gambled on this, guys. 1990 CBS Fox Empire Strikes Back uncirculated again with the blue seal and the blue fox watermark. <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> Let's grab the last one. Obviously, A New Hope. We do still have coming back from CGC at some point four Superman tapes. Those aren't going to grade as high, but they're very rare, so we should still be in good shape. All right. Star Wars 
Fern Gully. We did it again. 9.5 on the case. 10 on the seal. Guys, these are, well, right there. Epic. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, there they are, guys, with the cases. Just to give you an idea of what the case looks like outside of the bag. I mean, it's a very cool case. It's got the IGS on the top. I do think I found, which one was it? Okay, it's a uh, Jedi. If you look, I was looking at it, trying to figure out what could possibly take this down on the case. See right there on the corner, there's just a little bit of a crease actually on both sides in the box. That, I think, is what dropped our case to a 9 instead of a 9.5. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now, you can see there's some wrinkles on the corner or on the edges in the seal. That's going to happen. I mean, it's shrink-wrapped, right? And that's still got a 9.5. So, if you're curious what, like, a 9.5 looks like versus... A 10, you can see there's no real wrinkles. See up here and on the corner, it's very crisp and clean. This one, pretty much the same, right? Look at this guy. See how it's kind of wrinkled on the top, the seal? So, if you're looking at a VHS tape wondering, ah, it's wrinkled, I don't, I don't know. There's some marks there on the edge. Well... I mean, of course, they're going to be very picky when they do this. But just to give you an idea, I still got a 9.5 with those marks. And you can see there's one right there on the corner, like a stretch mark. But that's what brought it down, I think. See, right there. Stretch, wrinkle, whatever we're calling it. But I'm thrilled, guys. Absolutely thrilled. All right, so uh, it's just a little bit later now, I've come and dropped off some mail at the uh, at the post office, but uh, I'm very excited about the grades that we got on those. Uh, you know, nine point five, ten. That doesn't happen. So I'm I'm thrilled. I actually uh, got back a hold with got back a hold got back. I got in touch with uh, Rod. Uh, picking and punching and uh, he has spent a very long time uh, getting e expertise frankly in the grading of comics and cards and video games and VHS tapes and uh, he's been a great help to me and uh, he advised that maybe I look into reaching out to either Heritage or Golden Auctions for these because uh, you know we were talking about in tens the, the hardcore collectors are going to be looking for the 10, right, on the grade. And so uh, there's a uh, th there's a good chance that we'll get higher money out of an auction house. And then I was talking about it with, uh, with Mountain Mama and said, you know what, the, the bonus of doing that also is they've got a lot of verified buyers already. You're not going to have to worry about the hassle of eBay right of, of potentially getting scammed getting ripped off having people not pay that sort of thing so i i think that's the route we're going to go i've actually been in touch with golden auctions which is the last place that sold a set of three of these that i can find that were uncirculated remember these came out of a sealed box set and so they were all individually sealed inside somebody else did the same thing i did uh, last spring is i think it was may of 2022 is was the sale it was also made by golden they're the ones that sold this previous listing and uh there was i think there was an eight or an 8.5 in there mostly it was nine and 9.5 that uh, that set came in with and they got one thousand twenty six dollars for their set so fifteen hundred would not be out of the realm of possibility um, but like anything it's another gamble right we gambled with the grades now i'm going to uh i think gamble with sending it up to uh to auction through golden and uh we'll see you know you you just hope that you get the buyers right and you hope that you get the money that you're looking for it's not a guarantee they're going to make their money off of it selling for a good price too so they're invested 
and making sure this sells well also. So they'll do the marketing, they'll make sure it gets out there in a future auction. Uh, I have been in touch with them, like I said, and I think we're working on a deal where I would pay zero, they would take zero percent commission. So I would get the entirety of whatever the winning bid is. And then they make their money off of the premium that buyers pay on top of that. So the buyer would be paying them, I wouldn't be paying them anything. And so they're very interested and getting it, I'm um, waiting to hear from Heritage, but I, I, I think I like Golden anyway. And so I, I think we'll be doing that. So I guess a uh, follow-up to the follow-up video, potentially. And I expect that they'll let us know when that goes to auction and so we can keep an eye on it and that sort of thing. So uh, that'll be exciting, that'll be fun. And uh, well, I hope this was a fun little video for you guys. One quick note, we do have a Whatnot auction coming up tonight. I loaded, I think it's 68 items. I think there's 68 of them in there. We're doing all old cartoon comics. And so I've got Popeye and Flintstones and Chip and Dale and uh, Donald Duck. There's Mickey Mouse in there. A lot of Casper, some Richie Rich. Uh, yeah, the, the, there's a, and then there's some other stuff, you know, some older, you know, I don't know if we have Little Lotta in there or anything like that, but we have some of that same type of stuff. And so uh, stop on by. Uh, there's a, a, a link down below that uh, if you've not bought on whatnot before you can get it's uh, now i'm in a pilot program with them and so you will get anywhere between 10 and 200 dollars i think it's after you sign up and then make your initial purchase then you get that essentially free money back and so it's just randomly generated uh that you'll get that amount to spend so you could get up to 200 dollars to spend which is pretty cool uh, so that information is down below, and uh, you can go check us out uh, tonight if you're watching this day of. It's going to be 6.58 p.m. Eastern that we're, uh, that we're going on this thing, and I expect with that many comics, we should be going for an hour and a half maybe, something like that. So I uh, look forward to seeing you there if, uh, if you swing by, and if not, we'll see you here next time.